Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at the Votatu PMD 504 Red Dot. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we are going to take a look at the Votatu, and I assume I am pronouncing this right, it's V-O-T-A-T-U, the PMD 504 Red Dot uh, on Amazon. Again, in my section below you'll find my camp page, uh, campsite page, and then you can go to, from there to my Amazon store. So with that said, uh, this right here has been reviewed by quite a few YouTubers and I cannot take credit for bringing it to you. Uh, they actually brought it to me. I was looking for an option for my Glock 17. I recently upgraded the slide, which I did a video about, and I wanted a red dot. And you know me, I like doing budget red dots like a lot of people. So this one has been reviewed by quite a few people. And one thing that I noticed, there was a couple of people that did torture reviews to the point where the glass was broke out or at least cracked and this uh, hood here was bent and it still functioned great. So I decided to take a risk and try it myself. Current price point on this is about $125, <clears throat> which is not the cheapest of the cheap, but this has a lot of features that I think. So let's say you can get a red dot for a hundred bucks for the extra $25, let's call it. This had a lot of good features that I thought was worth the extra money. So still, again, um, not the cheapest of the cheap, but not in the realm of expensive either. Uh, nice little box it comes in, nothing too fancy, but it is a nice quality. Uh, you can tell the packaging is kind of nice. Uh, user manual, silica gel that just um, keeps moisture out. Um, a lens cloth, different screws for different red dots. It does come with this hood cover protector uh, if anybody wanted to use it. It does have a little place for a tether right there uh, in the center, uh, but that simply just pulls off. Um, your tools, it does come where if you want to mount it on a, Picat a Picatinny style rail, uh, it was originally mounted to this, which I took off to mount on directly onto my pistol. That is the RMR cut uh, for you guys wanting to know. So um, that's what it's going to be. It comes with two batteries, one that's already installed, and a set of tools for all your maintenance and adjustment needs. So very complete package, and we're going to take a look. So a few things that I like about this red dot is that it was um, it has three dot options that are adjustable. So the red dots can be a uh, circle dot, a circle only, and then just a dot. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try showing you on camera the circle dot, which is what attracted me to it. My son's going to guide me here to try showing you that in camera. You see it now? All right, so there's a circle dot. So think EOTech is what that looks like. That's the one I'm gonna be using most, I think. Um, but if you don't like that, um, that's probably the one that's gonna attract people mostly to this um, um, site. But to adjust it, to turn it off, you simply hold this rear button down. And then if you want to cut it on, it is shake awake, which is another good feature about this. Uh, if you want to turn it on, you just hit this button, this front button, and that turns it back on. I think you got to hold it. Once I turned it on, I just left it on. Yeah, so now it's back on. That's also how you adjust the dots. And again, I'm going to try letting him guide me into where you can see just the dot. That is a two MOA dot. So there's that. And then if you want to go to the next dot, I think you hold it. Try getting to the next dot. So there's the next dot. So there's just the circle. 
and then the one I'm going to use which was the original one that we talked about so it also has different brightness levels and then that goes back I held this button again for like a couple seconds and now this is back to the original he's trying to guide me in There you go. All right, so um, kind of give you a little bit about it. The It does have this nice hood that comes out to kind of protect your glass. Uh, it looks a little odd in the beginning because most of them are not shaped this way. It kind of grew on me the more I looked at it. At first, I didn't like the aesthetics of it, uh, but it actually serves a purpose with it protecting your glass in the front. Uh, it does have, again, we're going to safety check this one more time because I'm going to be pointing the gun back. Uh, if you look, it has kind of a mirrored type uh, finish it's kind of an orangish color I guess if you want to pick a color for it it does have a rear sight that's built into it right here notch because on this particular pistol this sight uh, this rear sight on this uh, slide is below this and so when I first installed it I was able to just co-witness the red dot with the and kind of lollipopped it on top of this front sight here is how I did that uh, and then I'll make my final adjustments for adjustments you have uh, left and right and then up and down windage here now one thing I did notice when I was adjusting this I ran out of adjustment with that said I've discussed this in a prior video uh, maybe a year or two ago is after you move a red dot around and think you have a have it adjusted take like the back end of a non marring like a screwdriver or a, like a handle or something or a rubber mallet and tap your red dot when i did that the red dot shifted so then i moved it i had more adjustment was able to move it and shift it correctly tapped it again uh it's called seating the diode uh i didn't realize this i read an article about it uh, numerous years ago um, and I actually saw it on a video with the U.S. Army doing sighting in, uh, I think, ACOGS or whatever it was they were sighting in at the time. Um, and they were tapping on it. And I, I did a little research and I finally figured out uh, by calling um, a company that was having problems with, I think it was a laser, not a red dot, though. Same concept is once you adjust it, tap it. And if it adjusts again, adjust it back where you want it zeroed and tap it until it does you when you, every time you tap it does not move that means the diode is seated correctly and it will not shift because I ran out of adjustment on this one uh, I tapped it and I had once I tapped it it moved to where I had enough adjustment at that point so uh, install installation was easy um, again it comes with two batteries one thing I do like about this one is the battery tray is right here on the side so you do not have to remove it again it gives you a little tool I cannot remove that tray and I'll talk about that here in a second once I take this out and show you so it slides in and out just like that and some people might be worried about this thing coming out um, I hear you and I guess uh, you just going to kind of keep an eye on it um, but I cannot get my finger in here and pull it out so I have to use a tool so it's pretty sturdy in there so I'm not too concerned about that and during those torture tests and other uh, reviewers that did videos about it uh, it didn't seem to cause a problem but I do like the fact that it's just got the slide in tray um, I've got some that have red dots that have this uh, side uh, slot for the battery and it has like teeny tiny little screws and I kind of like the friction even though the screws would probably guaranteed it being secure the issue I have is those screws are so small that I would be more afraid of just losing the screws at that point. So this right here with the friction fit, I think will be okay. So we'll kind of tell with time and some range usage and things like that. It did come with two batteries, which is nice. Um, so you got a spare battery as a backup. But uh, overall, uh, very pleased with it. For you guys wanting to know which battery it is, it is the CR-1 
1832 if I'm reading that correctly or 1632 read that right there my son's got better eyes than I do you tell me if it's 1832 or 1632 uh, 1632 all right he says it's a 1632 my wingman is always helping me so hey guys all right if you noticed uh, since he's been helping me over the years his voice has gotten a lot deeper uh, as of, uh, in the last year or two so uh, he's growing up on me um, but yeah, one thing I do like about this one compared to some of the other red dots besides the features we discussed is they've muted the, uh, the writing. And I've just, I, had, I actually did a video about how to um, mute that with a Luma Black. Uh, you can put in, and if it's because a lot of them are just bright white. Uh, I do like the fact that they kind of did like a tan, uh, lighter, you know, kind of a tan color, uh, which I like. Uh, but overall, I think I'm going to like it. And again, the Shake Awake, I did test that. Uh, 225 seconds, I think, sitting idle, uh, it shuts it, it's got an automatic shut off. And then I literally just was kind of looking through the glass and I bumped it like that and it came right back on. So that tells me that that has been working. I've been testing that to make sure that that feature functions correctly um, the uh, the dot itself I know I mentioned it's 2 MOA which is pretty small I wished on the actual and I don't guess they could have done it um, they use the same center dot and then they just add the circle dot or whatever but um, that 2 MOA is pretty small um, and a lot of times on a self-defense style pistol it's not designed for precision it's more designed um, for larger targets so I would rather have like a 4 to 6 MOA uh, but with the circle dot I'm perfectly fine with it being a 2 MOA but anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. If you have any experience with this, and again, I think I'm pronouncing it right, the Votatu uh, V-O-T-A-T-U, uh, the PMD-504. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty well liking it, I think, so far, and I'll know more after some range testing. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.